Hello again. Um, I'm uh, investigating the GB boy colour, and this is the last video I'm going to make. Um, this is referring to the link port on the side. If you have a look at this, you'll see it looks like the advanced SP link port. Um, but it works in the same way as the Game Boy Color using the Game Boy Color link cable. So, pop that in. I've built an Arduino Boy inside this Sinclair multimeter because um, it didn't work. Um, so, that has some little surface mount LEDs inside here, which will show you the motion of the uh, MIDI clock. Here is LSDJ and I'll press start on that and you see these LEDs cycling through with the rate of LSDJ. Um, I've got the pitch modding hit this one so you can see when I turn that down the LEDs slow down so it is outputting data via the link port I have no reason to suspect it won't, won't receive data as well so I'm saying that MIDI works with LSDJ on the GB Boy Colour I'll test it out with MGB as well um, so basically the GB Boy Colour has all the good bits of every Game Boy that you could want um, that little port at the top infrared window is just a window, there's no photo transistor behind it. What was the feature in Pokemon? Mystery gift. What was the mystery gift do? You got a free gift, and there's a mystery what it was. Right, yeah, so the only thing that you can't do is the mystery gift feature in Pokemon. You can't get a mystery gift. How did you get a mystery gift? Who sent you the gift? How did that work? Friend. Your friend? So your friend gave you a gift from Pokemon? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, so you can't do that. That's not very good. Um, but I don't play Pokemon anyway. Um, so that's alright. I might start. It sounds good. Um, but yeah, MIDI works. That's great. Um, yeah, this particular Arduino boy I've got working off a 9 volt battery in the back because um, I'm already using the 5 volt feed from the link cable to power the LTC1799 which is changing the pitch here and I didn't want to take that same 5 volt feed and run an Arduino off that because I didn't think that was sensible um, because this only has two AA batteries it's got some sort of step up converter to change it to 5 volt for there so I'm already sapping the batteries with this um, but I've been running it off the same couple of batteries for a while, it hasn't hasn't crapped out on me. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Um I might change this around a little bit. I might change I've put a piece of plastic on the front here. I might change this plate for something else and put this port in the back here. Because there's a gap for it there where the power switch used to be. Um I'm yet to put a power switch in it yet, but there's a gap for it there, which used to be power supply socket I think um, but yeah nice to mod something that was made in Britain for a change because um, that doesn't happen that often I'll show you the uh, ooh, surface mount LEDs under there that took me a little while to wire those in this one doesn't blink with the MIDI clock that's just for MGB I think but this does the same pattern on my other one so you basically just get your status LED and then four lights blinking for your uh, MIDI clock. So, yeah. um, if anyone wants me to build them a Arduino boy, I can do that. I know people have trouble with that kind of thing, but I quite enjoy that. So, send me a message if you want one of them. Build it in something nice for you. Okay.